Now I bring you our next speaker, Dr. Joseph M. D. Della Torre. He is the professor of cardiology, Department of International Cardiology, in, in Hospital Universitario Marcos de Vila Valdesila, Spain. First of all, it's a pleasure to attend this meeting, to be invited to participate in the Pancreatic Society of Cardiovascular Intervention and to see the, the very high level you have in, in practice, in, in care, and in, in, in knowledge, and science, and everything. It's really a pleasure. I'm going to talk about uh, complex and high risk PCI and uh, very important is, uh, aspects, you know, the uh, selection and what the best uh, DMPT regime. You know? You know that uh, uh, cheap procedures are very complex. Uh, complexity comes from the anatomy, but also from, from patients. Huh? And for the selection of the drug eluting stand, you have to take into consideration several uh, different uh, aspects. First is mechanical performance. You need really deliverability, confirmability, minimal recoil. On the other hand, you need uh, a very effective uh, and efficacy uh, drug eluting stand with very low intimate proliferation, leading to very low DLR. And finally, early and complete healing. And early and complete healing is, 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 is crucial for safety, for very low syndrome doses, and for the stand to be used in patients with head bleeding rigs that are, can only tolerate very short DAPT periods. So NGTS is one of my, I think my favorite stand because in these uh, procedures for several reasons. First, mechanically, because the stand is related with very low recoil compared to the competitive uh, or other alternatives in the market now because of the architecture and the geometry and the design of the stand. The second is the radial force, which is also related or linked to the previous characteristic, the previous feature. And radial force is important. We are talking about calcification and calcified lesions. If you have, uh, you have done a very nice uh, job with uh, plaque preparation, but the stand, the dream plant, finally has a uh, high recoil, very uh, large recoil, and then you are going to have a small lumen gain and restenosis is gonna be uh, really future. Conformability is also important. You know how complex is the anatomy with uh, bands, with uh, angulations and tortuosity and stents need to be conformal. And also our expansion. We are uh, continuously talking about pot in bifurcations, in lead mains. We are talking about uh, tailoring of the stents in very long lesions. And it's important to have a uh, expansion capacity. And this stents energy has a really uh, a very nice, a very large uh, possibilities in our expansion. Yeah, and, and talking about our expansion, I have to talk about the Megatron. The Megatron is uh, the iteration of the Synergy stand, the, the version of the Synergy stand that is uh, designed for large vessels, and particularly for the lead main lesions. And this is because uh, the stand has a very uh, good uh, radial force and has a strength. The second characteristic is that a match uh, of expansion uh, with the 3.5. Uh, model, you can go up to six millimeters in a label that poses a dilatation limit, and you can uh, then treat uh, lead main lesions from uh, the lead main, which is maybe five or six to a lady that could be 3.5. Then this is a perfect uh, design for this anatomy. This is also important for the uniform lesion scaffolding. The pattern, the geometry of the stain is maintained even with large uh, proximal optimization. And finally, visibility. Visibility is important to place and in the properly uh, side the stand in, in patients that sometimes are obese or there is a lot of classification and you cannot really uh, appropriate place the stand, it's not visible. The second part is healing and totalization. And this uh, is important to drive uh, safe. Uh, a meaningful proportion of patients and the great PCI show high bleeding risks, particularly among the elderly patients. And these patients are best treated with short APT because we have the bleeding events, one to three months. The synergy stand has different properties that are related with a good uh, endotelization and uh, early endotelization. One of them is a thin strut. Thin strut is, we know, is a very good uh, feature because it allows a lower term of ECT and faster coverage, coverage of uh, endothelial cells. This is very nicely shown here in this uh, bench models comparing different thickness. Durable polymers. The durable polymers have been related to late inflammation and uh, hypersensitivity that uh, was associated with several cases of late thrombosis. In animal studies, it's clear that biodegradable polymers uh, drive for uh, elicit less inflammation compared to permanent polymers. The polymer also is important. Not all polymers are the same in the, in the, in the different uh, biodegradable polymer drug stems. And with synergy, the good thing is that 
the elution of the drug runs parallel to the absorption of the polymer. Both of them take uh, around three, four months, and uh, the polymer is not uh, taking longer time to really be uh, absorbable. And finally, the con conformal versus subluminal disposition of the drug uh, has been demonstrated in, in bench models and in human models that the abluminal disposition uh, is uh, more, is, is going to enhance, it's going to faster, to make faster the totalization of the struts. And if we have good healing, uh, we're going to have, uh, of course, uh, a demonstration in the, in the, in the humans, no? in, the, in practice. And we have several studies showing that the synergy stain is fully detalized and is covered by a layer of intima very soon, as soon as one month after PCI or three months. We have different examples I'm going to show you. We have two months after implantation, comparing the same vessel with BBS, is uh, one of our cases years ago showing the, this uh, complete endotelization with uh, synergy compared to uh, BBS. This is the sort out uh, eight study with uh, OCT examination at one month comparing synergy and biometrics with better uh, coverage, uh, more complete coverage in the synergy arm, also at three months and the pool population, again, uh, higher coverage with synergy. Yeah, this is on uh, one of our, our studies, uh, and this is that is uh, included two cohorts: one with OCT at three months, other at six months, and the percentage of strats that are covered is ninety-four point five at three and ninety-six point six at six months, which are very high. But you can see that at three months is is very high. It's near, uh, it's almost very close or similar to six. In this more complex design, we compare. Uh, with, Different uh, stands, uh, dracotin stands, and uh, absorbable stands in the same patients, implanting in different lesions, uh, different models. And we could see that uh, uh, with BBS, uh, vaginations were more common. The vaginations are not a good finding because uh, it's related with late thrombosis. But the vaginations were less common with the metallic biodegradable uh, polymer DS, but sadly showed the smaller vaginations compared to the other uh, types of stands. It's an example of one case with the BBS in the proximal uh, right and synergy in the mid-distal right, and the OCT uh, at, uh, six months later, so in a full detalization with thin intima in the synergy, and this uh, particular finding of heterogeneations with BBS in the proximal right. The ideal uh, comparing synergy of science at three months with a uh, subgroup uh, undergoing OCT and 100% uh, coverage, no uncovered strats in the synergy arm, it is also a remarkable finding. This study we did uh, recently, and we submitted very recently, included uh, patients with different uh, different models of recruiting stents with OCT at one month and six months. And again, at one month, in the session with Synergy is the highest compared to biofreedom and science. And uh, both of them, uh, of the three models, have a similar at six months, but one month, which is an important thing, we have the highest in the session with Synergy. These are... Uh, Good examples of how this uh, healing is complete, even for very long uh, stems, like 48 millimeter synergy. This is an example from uh, this case in, in CERC, this very long uh, synergy in right coronary artery, uh, again in certain places in a CTO or in this uh, mid LAD. In all of them, very long stems, complete healing. And for healing to safety, you have a stand that is healing uh, completely and early, then you have very low thrombosis rates, and this demonstrated here, comparing the Synergy trial with uh, other trials with uh, durable polymer like science or promise. Also a uh, different, very low rates of definite problem thrombosis in the of Synergy, less than 1% in all of them, except for in one of the registers. This is an island experience with Synergy, complex uh, PCI in many of cases and no thrombosis. This is a national registry in Spain with Synergy in acute coronary syndrome. This is a, uh, we're also important because uh, we could see, we could report uh, 0.9 thrombosis at one year in 1,000 patients with acute coronary syndrome, which is really important. And the uh, Swedish registry, the SCAR registry from the uh, for Sweden, very, very large number. You can see the numbers in the bottom of the slide with thousands of patients. And the thrombosis at one year after implantation synergy is uh, among the lowest in this, uh, in this regard. Also, the acute macular infarction is upset in the SCAR, in the Swedish registry, also very uh, low thrombosis, lower the sanity compared to other DJ recently, yes. And for safety to short the APT trials, 
there are uh, several trials and races have been conducted with Synergy. I'm very sure the APT, I'm going to just mention some of them. Senior trial was a randomized trial, uh, randomizing to uh, bare metal or Synergy in elderly patients. And having the DAPT for one month in a stable or six months for veterinary syndrome and a very complex PCI in some of these patients, not infrequently. And the two years is really important because uh, the thrombosis rate with Synergy was lower compared to better metal stable, 0.7. It's really a good, very good result in this uh, very complex elderly uh, setting of patients and short DAPT. In the EVOLVE, the EVOLVE is a single arm study. Uh, the idea was to include patients at high risk of bleeding and to have only three months of the APT. Finally, nearly 2,000 patients were included. And the outcomes, uh, you can see here the complex PCI in many of these patients with an uh, important portion of complex lesions, uh, or even the presence of uh, long lesions sometimes, small vessels, and uh, the typical scenario of all cameras PCI and patients with head bleeding rigs. And thrombosis at three months, this after the three months of DPT, was only 0.3%, which is really, really low. The point uh, registry was also a registry, but more aggressive because here the APT was just one month in patients with high beaten rigs in 1,000 patients in Italy. This is the flow chart of the study. And these are the results of one year. And again, and again, thrombosis is only 0.9% in the in a very complex scenario because these are patients uh, very high bleeding rigs. I, I repeat, I insist on this, is only one month of the APT in these patients. Even the, a particular design like this, now the zero DAPT, the these are patients that they don't have even, not even one week with the APT. They just go to a monotherapy with Prasubril for three months after PCI in 200 patients. And the results after three months uh, with no DPT, just press really zero thrombosis. This is also encouraging, but the registry is small, it's not randomized, but it's an observational finding that is really encouraging. Uh, pulling together all this data, synergy definitely stain thrombosis in short DPT trials is really low. And uh, you can see the figures, no? The figures are, are, are clear and straightforward. And just uh, uh, presenting together registries and trials and all thrombosis have acute, late and better late. You can see the figures. The figures are really less than 1%, less than 0.5 in most of the cases. And this is really reassuring the safety of this design. Uh, just to finish, this is our algorithm for DAPT selection. We uh, follow more or less this, uh, this, this protocol, taking into consideration the bleeding risk of the patient with the precise DAF and other comorbidities, also ischemic thrombotic risk based on the clinical presentation, stable or acute, and simple or complex PCI based on this uh, definition of complex PCI. Then uh, you put the patient in one of these uh, positions and you can just yes, follow the 12, the six, the three months, or the one, even one month of the DAPT. The different colors is because there's a different uh, degree of uh, evidence supported, no indication, recommendation. But in general, we follow a, a, a protocol like this for our daily practice. Yes, to finish, uh, my conclusions are that the new generation of biosolvable polymer uh, DS like Synergy with uh, specifically designed for healing properties provides an advantage in terms of early healing. And this is translated into an outstanding safety profile, uh, showing very low thrombosis in uh, registries and trials, trials with the short or ultra short APT durations and for, with patients that are frequently complex, uh, complex because you know that hybrid matrix patients are frequent uh, frequently all patients with calcification, with diffuse disease, multivessel disease, etc. The mechanical features of this uh, platform improve performance. And this is important in pointless PCI, and particularly let me PCA when you have the Megatron with the specifically designed. And finally, for cheap uh, PCA procedures, I think this is an excellent alternative. Also in patients that require short to GPT because high treatment rates. Thank you. Thank you, Della Torre for your brilliant presentation. It is really emerging, emerging topics, cheap PCI dash selection and DAPT regime. As what is your minimum duration to continue DAPT? I have, uh, there are 
there are evidences supporting the use of even only one month, only one month for very high bleeding rates. This is, uh, you can do that, but you have to be clear that the balance between the bleeding rates and the systemic risk is uh, in favor of the bleeding risk. Then you can go up to short up, uh, even up to one month. And for longer, for longer is, uh, it's more, I don't know, uh, perhaps it's up to you. It's the same. It's the opposite. When the ischemic risk is very high and the bleeding risk is very low, I have patients that maybe because they have six stents, they can go uh, even if beyond one year of the APT, maybe two, three years, because they are young patients with very low bleeding risk. Then the APT is now uh, really uh, a tailor therapy that you have to, to, to establish according to the balance between ischemic and bleeding risk. Thank you. So, so I think yeah, we should remember the Goldilocks theory, my risk and benefit ratio we should assess on the top of precise depth score, whether the other concomitant risk, high risk procedures, then we can continue our as usual DAPT regime. And uh, it's my honor and privilege. Uh, today's session, our chairperson also associate is there. And would you like to make any comment, sir? No, I think I, think I got this. But this is this is absolutely correct. Uh, the DAPT data demonstrated that in low bleeding risk, you could continue it longer because it does prevent remote infarctions as well. So he's right. Sorry. Multiple stents or even those who've had repeated procedures or who've had repeated ACS, it'd be a good idea if they are low bleeding risk patients to have them on prolonged DAPT. Absolutely, absolutely. What do you mean by long duration? Usually, DAPT will continue up to one year. Two to three years. Two to three years. That's the, okay. the DAPT study that was demonstrated fairly well up to up to 24, uh, 36. 30 Actually, months. sir, so, rightly so said, two to three years. Rightly said, sir, DAPT, we should go for precise depth score for uh, how long we should continue. And if you want to continue more, then you go for depth score. I think that will guide you for well said. deep well selection. Said.